welcome to the 2010 Walk of Fame. How y'all doing? Um, not much to say, just want to thank y'all for all y'all support um, throughout my four years, you know, me and my teammates. Appreciate y'all support, and you know, you guys made it possible, and roll tide. From Pensacola, Florida, number 78, Mike Johnson. Uh, how y'all doing today? I uh, uh, just want to uh, thank everybody that came out today. Uh, we had a great year. Uh, ended up doing a couple good things, winning a few rings. Uh, uh, especially, I want to thank uh, my family, my mom and dad, uh, my girlfriend, my cousins here, my uncle, and Mr. and Mrs. Johnson here. Thank y'all for coming. Um, just thanks for everybody, and uh, I appreciate y'all showing up and supporting us uh, through the last few years. Thank you. And now from Decatur, Alabama, number 25, Rolando McClain. I just, just want to say thank y'all for everything. Uh, and that guy over there, thank him especially. <laughs> uh, I know uh, without y'all this wouldn't be possible. Uh, we won a lot of games, and y'all were there for every game to support us through everything, uh, even the tough games when we had to fight it out in Auburn, and the tough games, Tennessee. Uh, <laughs> I just want to thank, say thank y'all for everything. Uh, I got a couple family and friends uh, here. Say thank them for coming to support me. Thank y'all and roll tight. All right, you gentlemen, make your way down to start putting your... I do want to say that uh, you all, your support, your passion, the tradition that we've had, which has come from your passion and support through the years, has made being the coach at the University of Alabama very special. Uh, I know it's what helps our players in terms of their spirit and their passion to be able to accomplish the kind of things this team last year was able to accomplish in terms of winning a national championship, winning the SEC championship, all things that I know you're very proud of. But your support is a very big part of that. And I, thank you. And, and I, I, I want to say that this tradition that we have here at Denny Chimes to uh, the guys that were the leaders and being a leader is something that I have a tremendous amount of respect for because these three guys were voted on by their peers, the national championship team, that they were the guys that had the most significant effect on their peers and their teammates in terms of the example they, they set, the work ethic they, that they had, the togetherness that they created, the positive energy that they had, and the accountability to do their job that they did that set an example that made our entire team be a very disciplined team. Uh, these guys I have a tremendous amount of respect for. Uh, each one of these guys did a fantastic job of affecting their unit, their group, and our team. And without great leaderships, you do not accomplish great things. And these three young men did a fantastic job of helping create leadership on our team. I want to thank you for all of your support. The day that we walked out in this stadium in 2007 and there were 92,000 people there, I knew, that we would accomplish, I knew that we would accomplish something special because of your passion and your interest and your love for your school and the University of Alabama. And that's what makes it special to be here. That's what makes it special to be a coach. And that's why we have been able to accomplish special things in three years. And you are a big part of that, and we thank you so much for it, and roll tide. Thank you.
has left his mark in the walk of fame. By the way, Javi, Mike and Rose said hello to their family. Is that your family right behind you there? Glad to have you folks with us. His third year is pretty darn good. Almost as good as his mama. And now Rolando McLean has left his mark in the Hall of Fame. How about a huge roar for Mike Johnson, Javier Arenas, Rolando McLean. And it's